going on you guys? It's George. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. This vlog is like the others, unexpected. I have nothing planned other than going to a three-story antique mall. Of course, I gotta get my antiquing and thrifting in this weekend. So my friend and I are actually going to some place. I don't even know where we're going, to be honest. But uh, hey, she sent me this uh, whole entire introduction of this antique mall, three stories tall, and the pictures look phenomenal. So I cannot wait to hopefully find some goods. And I'm here now, I'm starting off this vlog because there's a few things I wanted to share with you. I got this in the mail and this is called Do Your Gin. And basically, you make your own gin. I'm not much of like an alcohol drinker, but um, more of like, a, I like beer, I enjoy myself a good beer. But gin, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna feel like in potions class or something, making my own gin. So this is gonna be pretty fun. I think this is like a new concept. I haven't seen anything like this as far as like making your own alcohol, so fun. I wish I was a make your own coffee because I'm more of a coffee lover. This coming is pretty cool, very inventive, and I'm gonna list all their information in the description down below. Doyourgin.com leaves a website, so check it out. Not sponsored, they just actually want me to give this a shot, but you need to include your own vodka, and these are like the spices and lavender. Is lavender a spice? Yeah, I don't know, but you include all these ingredients right here into the vodka, and you let it like sit for 24 or so many hours, and you make your own type of gin. There's ingredients where you can make it different kinds, but I don't have vodka in my home, so I have to hold off, unfortunately, on making this. Again, I'm not much of like a drinker, so um, this can be really fun. I'm really excited to give this a shot. Of course, I'll keep you guys posted if you're interested. I also have something else here that's pretty cool that I want to share with you. This was sent my way, and these are hand sanitizers by a company called Sandy Kind, and basically they create these hand sanitizer dispensers out of recycled and repurposed materials. Um, not just any kind though, actually. I believe it's from the ocean. The ocean. This material is made from plastic found in the ocean. That's incredible and very clean, very right on my alley because I really appreciate sustainability, of course, but we have a purple dispenser right here. And I think this is a blue one. And I'm very excited about this because guys, we got to stay clean. We have to stay clean. I want to make sure I talk about this product because my channel is all about keeping it clean. So a clean life is a happy life, whether it's your beauty products or just everyday products that you use, such as hand sanitizer. So I think that's really sick. And especially because these materials are from like recycled uh, things. So this is a blue color. I love this. This is definitely mine. My partner will have the purple. But a fun thing about this is you actually keep the dispenser and you refill the sanitizer. Uh, everything's repurposed, everything's recyclable, and I freaking love that. I love hearing about cool and upcoming brands, especially small businesses that are inventive and have like really cool concepts and ideas. So these right here are something I want to make sure I talked about. But that's the intro to this video, guys. Hopefully you're ready for a fun vlog. If you are, stay tuned and keep on watching. Guys, we are in my car. We are on our way to meet Brittany. I got us our Starbucks, and we are going to be on our way to uh, an antique journey. And I can't freaking wait, guys. I have not actually antiqued in a very long time. I thrift shop all the time at like you know thrifty stores, Goodwill, Salval, all those pleasant places. But antique malls are. I could spend hours in there, so that is gonna be a long day. But uh, it looks like it's beautiful outside. You're probably thinking, oh, it looks so sunny and warm. It is 21 degrees. 21 degrees. Yeah, it is uh, way too cold for my liking, so I'm bundled up. I got my winter apparel going on here, rocking everything Tommy, as always. My color, oh my gosh, you guys. I, I self-tan with this new self-tanner called uh, marshmallow something by Saint Tropez or Saint Saint Tropez or Saint Tro How do you say Saint Tropez? Saint Tropez. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, Saint Tropez. Not enough guys talk about self tanning, so I'm gonna leave it at that. But uh, yeah, I'm looking sun kissed. All right, all right, PA winter 2021. Caucasian problems. Caucasian problems. A 
Hello, you guys. So we are finally in Lancaster. We're actually in a town called Historic British Columbia. Brit Wait, no, just Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> We're not in Canada. Oh my God. I don't even know where the hell I am, guys. There's so many farms around. There smells like hell. <laughs> Brittany is here. Say hi to Brittany. Hello. She's been a few vlogs of mine. She's my best friend of many years. And um, we're excited to check this place out. We're actually right outside the building right now. I'm not sure if you could. You could see the brick. But um, it's a super old building. Three stories. And it's called the Burning Bridge. Right? Burning Bridge. Burning Bridge. Yep. Antiquities. Antiquities. So I'm looking for an old kind of like jewelry box to put all my Tommy Hilfiger pieces in. Because we know I got a lot of Tommy jewelry going on. And um, I've... I realized this when I was getting dressed today. This is definitely a women's Tommy Hilfiger sweater. Yeah. <laughs> it was in the men's section at the Salval. So um, I feel like I'm rocking it. I stretched it out. It's nicely fitted, but um, it's most definitely a women's. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. My freaking eye. <laughs> My, you cried. <laughs> my eye is tearing so much. I don't know if it's from like how cold it is outside today. <laughs> it is freezing outside and um yeah. This is exactly what I'm looking for. These Valentine's cards are aged, they have character, the pictures are pretty cool, and there's tons to choose from. I also like these pictures right here, and I believe that it's something people maybe put in their windows or just around the home. You guys know I appreciate creepy, but this one is creepy AF. I can't. I also thought these two ceramic cherubs are pretty cool. They were eight bucks for the pair, not bad. And I have a new appreciation for popcorn holiday decor. It's random, but it's like kind of back in style now. Just super expensive. And this bunny was cute. This picture though, are you kidding me? The frame is beautiful. The painting itself is exquisite. It's an amazing condition and something that I wish I picked up, but I didn't. I also wanted to share this here because these are all pieces that you can contribute within your home decor. So there's wood, there's doorknobs, there's hinges, there's iron pieces, you name it. This is all woodwork and such that you can incorporate within your decor and finishings. And I loved every single piece. Trust me when I say like once I own a home, I'm gonna have this stuff all over it. And this cat's cute. I also kind of like this little hutch. It's definitely small enough to put your jewelry in. It's a good size, but downfall is the price is kind of insane, $115. This one though, 115 bucks, if that was a price for this, I probably would pay it. This is a very exquisite piece. It is very Victorian, something that I love, but it was, it was super expensive. We hit the jackpot here, 25 cents to a dollar per card. And these are very unique. Also, very funny, we got some dad Valentine's cards. Looks like we caught Ken in the act. Ken, get it together. Betsy, it's not worth it, you got Barbie. And we have Miss Ma'am giving us the side eye. By the way guys, a quick history moment. This place was built in 1875 and it was originally a coach works. So they would work on carriages and then automobiles once they were invented and it's pretty cool. I did find some stuff that were a bit questionable, just like uh, this box right here. What, what is that? I'm really into old doilies and napkins and handkerchiefs now. And these ones are pretty cool and also very affordable. But I think I may have found my jewelry holder just might have oh my god you guys i am shook by this place first off they're rated the number one antique place by reader's digest is it reader's digest or reader's magazine i don't read or something girl that's a reader um but anywho they're like really prestigious with their antiques and they had an amazing variation of stuff but i pretty much got a lot of valentine's day decorations as you all know i love decorating for the holidays so um yeah, we're gonna go this way. This uh, place right here, where we just were, is basically one of four antique malls in the area. So uh, we're going to another one, which is in a warehouse.
As you've seen, this is a giant warehouse full of nothing but antiques and goodies and I love it. Including this armoire, look at the detail in this. I don't know if it's scary or beautiful or both. I'm always looking for old picture frames and art in general to uh, add to my collection. But of course, we gotta take a moment, we gotta take some time to, to make a thumbnail. And that's exactly what I'm doing right here. Okay, come on. Yep, got one. One day when I own a home on Cape Cod, I definitely want to have a fireplace and a huge mantle with a replica of a cutter ship on it. Something like this. Exquisite. I also love these lamps. This nun, nurse, whatever you want to call her, creepy AF, but we love a good armoire. Again, this detail on the woodwork is, it's beautiful. No words. But one of my favorite things about going to antique stores and thrift shopping is the random stuff you'll find. Like really, honestly, you never know. And I don't know who would ever make such a thing like this. Like, why is that even necessary? This is by far one of the best Valentine's decorations I came across. It's an old chocolate box, but it's 80 bucks. All right, I understand it's definitely an antique, but that's that's crazy. Now we're in a vintage clothing section of the toll booth, and there's some really cool pieces here. It's definitely very like 60s, 70s inspired garments. Not really my style, but there's definitely some luxury goods. We found some Dolce & Gabbana. There was some uh, Saint Laurent pieces. Definitely priced very good as well, but it's just not my style. Second antique place down, we're going to a third one, guys, and I, first off, I didn't spend a lot of money. I'm very shook at myself because things are fairly priced here. I think because there's so many different antique places within Lancaster that they're not like overpriced, which is amazing. But we're going to another place right now, which you can probably see. It's this old AF building. And I think this one's three floors as well. Three or four. This place is pretty cool, guys. It's actually dedicated as a historic landmark in downtown Columbia, Pennsylvania. It has a lot of original features like this elevator shaft from the original warehouse. And it's just really cool to walk through this and just see some of the original pieces like this. And on top of that, this place is full of not just vintage finds and thrifty things, but actual antiques like this clock right here. This is on a building that was struck by lightning. So it looks melted because lightning did that. It's kind of crazy, right? This circus cage is pretty cool. It's neon pink. It's giving me complete Britney Spears circus vibes. And this is not just the creepiest piece I came across today, but probably ever. It is a, I don't know if this is taxidermy or a toy, but it's covered in real animal fur. Yeah. On the upstairs, there's an exact replica of a downtown Lancaster diner that was built in 1932. All these pieces are original, including the signs and little knickknacks, stools, you name it, this is all from this restaurant, Sun Restaurant is what it was called. And I found it to be pretty cool because everything's in great condition, which is kind of weird. Hello you guys, I have some amazing stuff I'm gonna share with you in a little bit, but uh, we got a ton of snow last night and it is basically like a blizzard. Oh my God, this is huge. I am shook. We have not had this much snow in PA in a very long time. So it's kind of cool to see like, it must be 20 inches of snow. It's kind of crazy. My car is so freaking covered. Luckily, Gustavo cleaned it off, but holy freaking crap. That's how deep it was. I am so excited to share with you guys what I picked up at these antique stores. You guys, I had such an amazing time with Brittany. We were pretty much on an excursion, a journey the entire day. 
And honestly, if you're in the Lancaster, Pennsylvania type area, you need to dedicate an entire day to antiquing because the amount of stores that they have is pretty much endless. And each store is like two to three stories, including like basements and just, it's insane. Like, as you see in the footage, I had an amazing time. I'm actually gonna go in order as to which antique shop we visited first. So the Burning Bridge Antique Place was the first place we went to. And I seen tons of antique Valentine's cards and I fell in love with them guys. Usually they're like $4 per card at a lot of places, but they had a booth inside of this mall where it was like 50 cents per card. So, you know, I stocked up. I got the really cute one here. It says, I'm nuts about you, Valentine's, the little squirrel. Unfortunately, it doesn't have like a date on here because I wanted to know like how old these are. This one says, a Valentine for dad. It's like a very dapper looking guy. And I just thought it was really cool. There's very like punny stuff in here. And it says, much love, Evelyn. Evelyn's such a cute name, whoever this was. It's really cool to like have and hold on to stuff like this. So got that. This one says, some Valentine mail for you, dad. And again, there's no date on here, but really cool illustration. And I couldn't say no to these. This is also from Evelyn. So Evelyn, whoever you are, long live your, your cards. And I've also been really getting into like old school doilies. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them or like handkerchiefs. So I picked up two here and these were actually like a dollar a piece. And I just love the whole floral prints. I think I'm gonna put these down uh, as part of a decoration, which I'll show you within my next vlog. But I have this one here, which is very red and blue and Valentine-like. And then I have this one, which I think is my favorite because I love that color blue or teal, whatever you want to call that. Obviously it's not in the greatest condition. There's a little bit of orange here. Hopefully that's, this is not a used handkerchief. It's kind of gross, but uh, it probably was used. But the print is beautiful, so I, I could not turn this down. It was like a dollar. And I just think a lot of these together is gonna be really sick. So I'm thinking about doing something with that. And also at the burning place, I got this. How beautiful is this vintage chocolate box? When I seen this and just like the craftsmanship and the great condition that it's in, just kind of reminds me of something that's from maybe like the 70s or the 80s, the doily around the edging and the embroidery. This is just, this is a beautiful piece. So what I'm gonna do is just collect old Valentine's boxes. So for the holiday, I'm gonna put these out and about, um, perhaps maybe hang them or just put them around. I don't know, but this is such a gorgeous piece and I could not just like pass this up. And this is only eight bucks. Oh, the chocolate things are still in there too. Um, there's no year on this. Cause I really love to find out the year of when things are manufactured. So unfortunately there's no year or brand as to who this was from, but it's just so beautiful. So I could not say no to this. I also at the same place got a few actual Valentine's ornaments. Now I'm a little shook because I never see Valentine's ornaments anywhere. And if I do, they're very like chintzy looking ornaments, which I'm all about the chintz, but these are the complete opposite. And uh, they were really cheap too, so I had to get them. Ornament number one, check this out. First off, the detail that's in here is insane. I'm not sure exactly how much I got these for, but I believe this is maybe like $2.50 or $3. And like, you don't see things like this at all anymore. And if you do, they're extremely expensive. So the beading on this is insane. There's little pearls on there. And this is just such a beautiful piece so i got this there's also one more here and this one is complete valentine's i mean it's this beautiful red color the doilies on there the gold accents and i'm sure you could perhaps use this for christmas time but i mean these these scream valentine's to me so these are gonna go right on the tree and they're gonna look insane i'm so excited one last thing for this antique shop and i've been looking for a tray to put my tommy hilfiger jewelry on display so i got this right here and I think this exactly was for jewelry. Originally, I was like, maybe that was for like utensils, but like what the heck would fit in here? So either way, it's wooden, it's real wood, great condition. I got this for $3. And like, for example, like right here are some of my Tommy pieces. They're just on like a antique dish, but I'm gonna put them on display on this. I might even put some type of uh, scrapbook paper on the back of here, or maybe an old Tommy bag. That would be sick. Okay, I'm gonna do that probably. A tummy bag for the background. Love that. 
And uh, yeah, this has been pretty cool. $3 though, cannot go wrong. The next place that we went to, I have a full bag here as well. This one was the Toll House, like I said earlier. And I got another ornament. This one though, might creep you out just a little bit. We got Little Miss Man here. And this was $3, 50% off. And it's just so like weird. Oh my God, what the heck is that? She has like a toilet paper roll right here. <laughs> okay, her feet are just popping out right there. Yes, ma'am. And she has an umbrella, but I just thought this was like really cool with the whole like vintage vibe for my Valentine's tree. And it was super cheap, so I cannot say no to that. And I also picked up another chocolate box. This one's a Russell Stover, which you could actually still get these type of chocolate boxes at your grocery store, here in Pennsylvania at least. But I liked how this one was just like aged and the foil looks old. It doesn't say the year anywhere on here, but it does say the ingredients, so uh, cool. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, probably some like chocolate strawberries. I don't know. Cool, we got another one of these. And I also picked up yet another one. And this one is really cool. This is Zachary. I'm not familiar with this company, but it says for my Valentine. And I just like how the aged, how aged the colors look on this. It's really cool. The tulips right there. And I love this. I'm not exactly, again, there's no date on this one either, but oh my God, little did they know. And I did not do this guys. There was another one on the inside. Whitman's sampler. Holy crap. Oh, score, I guess. All right. Loves it. We got, we got four Valentine's boxes during our trip, but this was listed for $3.95 with 50% off. So I got these ones super cheap and just like on display like this for Valentine's day, how cool does it look? Like these aren't just normal chocolate boxes. They're aged, they have character, they're unique. And this one is just a complete piece of art, right? That's all I picked up while antiquing, but I did stop at Starbucks. My points are expiring, so I needed to pick up something to use my points for. And if you do like the whole Starbucks rewards, if you have 400 points, you can buy anything in the store for up to $20 value. And I seen this water bottle, this matte black, beautiful bottle, and I could not say no to it. So, I mean, I had to get something, but this is just so beautiful. The mermaids right there, the siren, and this is freaking sick. I love this. So this is my free item from Starbucks. I needed to share this, guys. I love Starbucks. And this is just a very cool, cool piece, right? All right, guys, that's it for this vlog. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and going antiquing with me for this vlog experience. I absolutely love checking out new antique shops and the whole thrifting experience is something that is not just a hobby to me, but it's a way to like stress relief. And I just, I love going antiquing and searching through a bunch of different stuff. I know a lot of people are like, why would you waste your time doing that? But I like pieces that have characters and stories behind them. And like, what is this? You don't find this at, you know, Restoration Hardware is not going to have this. Pottery Barn is not going to have this. No place that's like of modern day decor is not going to carry something like this. So that's why I find appreciation for these little old tchotchkes, knickknacks, whatever you want to call them. But if you enjoyed this video, please give this a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. That'd be much appreciated. Goes a long way. Share this video and share the love. Also, do not forget to click the notification bell. That is very important. If you don't click that, it means you will not be notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, my Instagram is right here, at George Shira, if you want to follow me in there as well. But until next time, and as always, say thanks, give compliments, and think positive. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.